Hi. Today we're going to be looking at this um, power supply unit. Okay, this is your power supply for your um, average uh, computer, your PC. Um, this one, you switch on the computer, nothing happens, dead. So let's take it apart and have a quick look at it. On the bottom, you'll find four screws to remove the top cover. So when we're working on power supply units, always make sure it's disconnected because we don't want to have any accidents touching the mains. Okay, so generally working inside the these power supplies, um, there is there's always a, a, a fuse, an inline fuse. Um, if there is nothing else, obviously burnt, and um, it's just uh, it's just pop the fuse through a surge, then you can replace the fuse. Never bridge it. Always replace it with another fuse, and see how it goes. If you see something is burnt and it's smelling. Don't even bother replacing the fuse. Um, the machine is burnt. The power supply is burnt, and uh, just junk it. Uh, what I always do, if the fuse is okay and nothing is burnt, nothing is smelling, um, we come to this. We come to these uh, capacitors. Here, in every power supply, you'll have some 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 capacitors. Okay, so what we're looking for today are some capacitors which have been um, swollen, they domed, at the top you'll actually see they puffed up. So here's an example of a bad capacitor, okay, it's swollen at the top and it's leaking. Okay, and if you put it down on a flat surface, you see it cannot, it won't even stand up. Okay, um, I have a capacitance meter here. Which we can, which I use to test the capacitors. So this one says that it should be 2,200 microfarads. The negative is always the side that has the the stripe, the band. And you can test it. And this one is about 800. So that's an example of a bad cap. So what we do is remove any swollen caps from the board, test them to make sure that they are bad, replace them with the same value capacitors, a bit of a higher voltage, for example this is 16 volts, if you put in 20 or 25 volts, as long as the microfarads are the same. And uh, maybe we can make a repair on this uh, power supply unit for a couple of dollars. Okay, so let's get the board out, identify the bad capacitors and replace them. one two caps that are swollen and that are leaking and a third cap yeah which is leaking which is swollen so we're going to unsolder these three caps replace them with their equivalents okay so let's just uh, take out these these offending capacitors Right, so that's the first one. See, it's all domed. It's leaking. Right, so this um, this capacitor is valued at a thousand microfarads, ten volts. We're getting a reading of 369 instead of a thousand. 
So, there is a classic example of a bad cap. Okay, so on the board, there will be a number. This is C15, which stands for capacitor 15. Make a note of that. So when we take out uh, all, the, all the offending caps, we make sure the right caps, the right valued capacitors go back in the right place. Okay, this one, even though it's a little bit domed on the top, it's, um, it is giving me a thousand of capacitors meter, but since it's, since it's domed, it's a bit swollen, I'm just going to go ahead and replace that one as well. Okay, so let's find some replacement caps. Right, so um, I found uh, three replacement capacitors. I've tested them, they're given the correct... Um, correct value so let's resolder those back into the board and uh, give it a test and see if we've made a repair um, the capacitors are polarized um, on the on the actual circuit board where you've taken them out you will see on the circle you will see one side either has a, a, a line or a stripe that shows you on where is the negative on every capacitor there is a band going down one side of them that shows you the negative okay so that's very important make sure you get them in the, the right way around okay Okay, so once you've got your new capacitor soldering, um, make sure you've got the make sure you've got the polarity the right way around. Okay, so this one looks good. So let's give this one a test. Okay, so let's give it some mains, plug it in. Right, on your connector here, you'll find only one green wire. Okay, so if we bridge <coughs> the green wire with the black, the black towards the inside of the connector, that is the same as uh, power on from a PC. So when you do that, you sh your fan should start to turn right, as you can see um, this fan is turning um, we'll, we'll mount this inside a PC give it a test run but um, it looks like replacing those capacitors has a has ended up being a fix and we do not need to replace this power supply so, thanks for watching. Remember, there's always a fix.